Here we go. We're getting close. Boom, double kill. That's the power of the tusk, man. Okay, we're just dropping in here now. So we loaded up the griffin with tusk. So we used the orkin griffin last week, but I want to try it with tusk because I think it might be actually better because of that ability. So this is the ability here. It looks awesome, but it's actually, it's really only useful against lock-on weapons. I mean, it does prevent some damage because enemies can't target certain plates on your robot, but... Either way, we're trying out this Tusk build. Four Tusk loaded up. We do also have that homing missile and also an energy shield or disposable. The disposable or disposal shield? I don't know, whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. I love the design, the actual design of the Griffin. I just don't know if it's really better than like the Ares, the Fury Lancelot, etc. Whoa, there's two guys there. I think there's two guys standing right there. Okay, I'm gonna circle around, I'm gonna flank them. I'm gonna flank them because there's straight up two guys on the other side of that wall. There, there, there. Okay, we gotta get close. Remember to hold the weapons, either shotgun weapons. Get through that armor. One more shot. Boom, there we go. Man, I love the tusk weapons. I don't even see players using the tusk weapons and I think it's a huge mistake. I think they're one of the best weapons in the game at close range. You have to hold down the, the firing button for one second. Just so they group up a little bit, but so that it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna push forward here. Our homing missile is charged up right now, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we, we gotta get out of here. Bad spot, bad spot. Okay, I'm hitting my ability, stopping any kind of homing missile or homing weapon from hitting me. Here we go. We're getting close. Boom. Double kill. That's the power of the tusk, man. That is the power of the tusk. Okay, our armor's kind of chewed up here, but... We're still good on health. Three kills. There we go. Three kills with the tusk. I think this build is definitely better than the Orkin build. The Orkins are great, but... Something about the Griffin build. The Griffin has good speed. So maybe it's that because you can get in and out of... Uh, combat, I guess, really quick. And the Tusk are very good close range. While the Orkin are kind of good, I don't know, as long as you hit the enemy. Look at the look at this Griffin. I'm, every plate on this Griffin is damaged. It looks like a scrapyard robot. It looks actually pretty awesome like this. If this was a skin, I'd probably get it. I guess it is kind of a skin because the skin is damaged. Okay, we have a pretty good lead on the beacon bar. We're up 32% to 11%. 32 to 11. The one thing with the tusk, though, is I don't recommend really grouping the shots together. From a very far distance. Okay, I'm hitting my ability. There we go. Four kills deleted that fury. See, I hit the ability there because he had vortex. He had two vortex on his robot. And he couldn't... In Vortex are lock-on type weapons, and he couldn't lock onto us because of our ability. Literally every single plate on this Griffin is damaged. Is Look at this, we're a fiery mess. Okay, beacon capped. Oh, ooh. Is this guy gonna push forward? I don't wanna push ahead. Okay, fire the homing missile. Shield up. There we go, five kills! Five kills! Oh, come on. Oh, we couldn't get that one. We were reloading. Okay, we've got five kills, though. That is very decent. We got through his armor on the front, too. His his torso armor. The Tusk Griffin. That build is surprisingly good. That impressed me. That impressed me a lot more than the Orkin Griffin. I'm telling you, the Griffin, though, it just seems like it needs a bit more of something. It needs either, like, a bit more firepower, a bit better of an ability, a bit more speed, something like that. A bit more. Shoot him up. There we go. Kill. Okay, let's cap the beacon. Center capped. Okay, let's push up. Oh, actually, this guy. Never mind. This guy. This guy. Bram. Bram. Is that his name? Nice. Double kill. Okay. Alrighty. It's a bit risky dropping in your Titan earlier in games. Just because 
you have the potential to go on a big kill streak. But if you die fast with the Titan, then usually, you know, you obviously don't get it back that whole game. Then the enemy team drops into all their Titans. And then you're fighting them with, like, regular robots. We're corner shooting a little bit here. Okay, abilities reloading, weapons reloading. Okay, we got the missile back. Man, that homing missile ability. The homing missile ability we had on the Griffin. There we go, triple kill. Kind of sucked. It wasn't that great. These homing missiles are way better. Okay. Two guys here. Death beam. Okay. Yup, 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 there we go. Okay, he's- oh, somebody stole that kill for sure. Oh wait, four kills, we did get the- We did get the kill? I don't even know what's happening. I think we got the kill, it was just delayed. Fed- Feddy. Feddy. Ah. Feddy, fed a rap. Alright, that was a decent- We have a couple good kills streaks going. Had a good one- oh, they're dropped- They have all these titans out now. Okay, I'm gonna use the Ares to get- is there a guy behind me? Yep, there is. There we go. Kill. Easy kill. Easy money. The Ares is definitely one of my favorite robots in the game right now. We do still have the Bulgasaur legs on it. Because the... I just dropped the smoke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out, teammate. No way. No te My teammate just blocked me. And it, it made me die. That is ridiculous. My teammate straight up killed me. Okay, well, we got the victory, but that was kind of bizarre at the end. Okay, did we get MVP, 2.8 million, 6 beacons, 10 kills, 316 honor points. Man, that Griffin is way better with the Tusk. I still think the Griffin needs to be adjusted to become one of the top robots, but I like the Griffin's design. Peace. Cheese, guy scream.